Hey, it's Joe Glines. This video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can um, search for locations of text in your headers. Uh, this, this for me, happens a lot when I export data from a, a um, different database or different sources. And the, the columns where the cells, you know, the values are changed, they shift. Sometimes there's, you know, extra variables in a, a given data set that aren't in others. And then so your A, B, C, D, like, um, let's say E might shift over here to column C because there weren't some other ones in front of it. So um, I wrote this. Now it's only, it only looks at the, the very top row, um, the header row. So that's built into it. I could have customized it, but um, uh, this was a really simple thing that I just built in. It also returns an object. So it's a little different than a lot of my other stuff where you can search for multiple columns because sometimes I need, I didn't, didn't just want to keep calling the thing over and over. Um, when I could just call it once and return back the columns I wanted. So um, an example here, um, so it's the Excel find, um, notice I put an O in front of this location, right? So that, that reminds me it's returning an object and um, finding the header. So you pass the, uh, um, connect to the Excel object and then you pass an array. And so you put um, brackets around the things you want to search for and then um, double quote with a comma delimiter. So I'm going to look for Joe's and I'm look for here and it's going to return what columns are in in this array and it doesn't matter how wide it is. It'll search for um, I think it basically uses the last column in there and then starts at the beginning goes to the end and um, and then in order to find it. So let's throw up a message box. Um, oh, look and um, this is a little bit of working with objects in auto hotkey. So I'm going to search for, I'm going to show the results of where Joe's was found and I'll just duplicate this and show the results of where here was found. So save it, reload it and run it. Oh, silly me forgot my percent signs to tell it to evaluate it as a, an array, uh, not an array, an expression. Um, so Joe's was in column A and here was in column C. So it's, it's that easy, right? So um, I could have, I don't know about unlimited, but I could keep searching, let's say for, and the order here, of course, doesn't matter. So let me do, oops, throw in some, put a comma here, quote, let's look for more. And then here, I'm gonna put in more. Okay, it's all case insensitive as well. So Joe's is an A, here is in C and more is in G. Now, if you don't have um, an apostrophe or some sort of a, like little character for an object, um, you can use the simple dot notation. So what I could have done for, at least for here, is say, oh, look, dot here. And that will still work fine. So it brings back the C. Um, but when you have characters like this in here, then you need to take this approach here. So. Anyway, like I said, it helped me a lot of being able to automate finding where like the email column was, you know, the column where the emails were or the column where, um, you know, whatever you're looking for. But I hope that helps. Cheers.